Welcome back, folks, to World of Warships Legends. I'm Super Dave, and today we're in California. Yep. I have just started recently playing this ship, and boy, do I love it. Now, I know it's a lot like the American Tier 5 Dreadnoughts, like all of them. Uh, it does have quicker re reload and more health, um, and the AA is fantastic on it. It might be the best in the game for level, but... Uh, honestly, I am really liking this ship. I've been calling it my mini Minnesota. <laughs> yeah, a lot of similarities with Minnesota. You know, it's a bigger dreadnought. Um, it's a little bit wider than the other tier fives with the added torpedo stuff on it. So, um, but also it just, it acts like Minnesota in a lot of ways. So, and Kansas. Anyway, we're going to head in. Um, as I do, we're at Scandinavia, it's a bigger map, so it takes a while before you can see each other, but I spawn in the middle, which is my favorite thing in, uh, um, in a Dreadnought. I love controlling the middle of a match, getting good crossfires, there's a lot that can come out of spawning in the middle. A lot of people don't like spawning in the middle, I am one, however, that does like to spawn in the middle. So we're going to move up, and I'm expecting to see something pop up to the right, but our destroyer is deciding to sit on a mountain over there. I was trying to get him to go ahead and try to spot. So I slowed down, and the reason I do this, and I'm not ripping on that player, what what I why this is important is if, if you don't have necessarily spotting on that right side, somebody could get off a really good blindside shot on me. Um, and, and you want to be careful with it. Uh, so I slow down a little bit. We do have a destroyer up to our left, but he's also behind the mountain as well. So I don't have a whole lot of spotting in front of me. Uh, so when that happens, a lot of times when you're spotted, that means a million people can shoot you <laughs> if that happens. So you got to be careful. And with me not knowing where everybody is right now, uh, I am being a little cautious. I start to see people, and I start to move up. Uh, now, Ayuga is at the end of our range here, and Devonshire is uh, coming at us. Um, there is a lot of decent shots to be had here. Now, you did I didn't see it at the time, but now I saw that uh, uh, the Ismail was coming broadside there for one second. You didn't get to see it for very long, but I wish I had seen the Ismail coming broadside. So we're going to take a shot at Hayuga because Hayuga is a very good ship, and we want to get rid of it. And we do some damage. We do 10,000. Um, and then we see New Mexico here. Uh, another American Tier 5 Dreadnought. So we're going to try to stay angled towards the left side of that map. Uh, that, I think it's like a Nagato to our right, is is um, focused on the my teammate, so I'm not too worried about him. I do check on him occasionally, but you can see he's definitely angled towards us in, in, in fighting teammates. So, uh, like I said, oh, it's a Congo. Okay, so... Um, but you see, I didn't know that Ishmael was going a flat broadside. Otherwise, we would have had a dev strike at this distance on that thing. Uh, <laughs> he obviously, that's not good for your health going broadside in Ishmael, but I uh, wish I had a my guns loaded about five seconds quicker. That would have been pretty crazy, especially if you go think about where this game does end up. But the T-22 uh, uh, is... Um, showing itself so I'm trying to get my guns reloaded and take him but I'm starting to realize here I'm pushing up a little too far because now that Congo has decided to also hit me too so um, and we're on fire <laughs> we're gonna go ahead I don't put out my two fires right away here because I thought there was gonna be torpedoes coming earlier so I do put it out um, because you don't want to let it burn forever and we're going to take a shot at New Mexico as we turn. Congo now is going to miss because of that. Um, and now I'm not so worried about the right side here. But again, I have a destroyer there. And now here you can clearly see somebody's capping C. So that is definitely a destroyer. Um, and I want to head back to help that. 
in the meantime while taking shots while I can um, back here to help the left side here because that left side uh, a lot of their team went to the left side so as you see there comes the torpedoes and we get we do get some damage not having a particularly great game yet but I've kept everybody out of the middle and now we got to try to go over and get to see and I was actually a little bit worried because uh, you know our destroyer at the very beginning was a little bit uh, obviously passive so I was really hoping he was gonna help spot for me here and he does so credit to him for doing that and uh, we are gonna we know he's in there so as you can see I do line up on him but I wait a second because I figured he was gonna move and he didn't so I'm like I right, I'll just take a shot <laughs> And we do get five shells on them. And that's what I like about American battleships accuracy is you can get, you know, even at 10 kilometers, getting five shells on a Savo and helping take out a teammate so that he can take the cap back is a big thing. And now, now our right flank is there's nothing over there. And we are going to get some pretty good crossfires on the other side of the map because our teammates are taking kind of a beating over here and we want to help them out now that Omaha pops up um, but at this distance I would rather take uh, shots unless unless I think I can hit the Omaha higher because that's such a long distance to shoot and Omaha can move quite a bit uh, and get himself as you can see we're gonna take a shot here and we're going to take a decent shot, plan for him to accelerate and not see us. Um, and you can see it, uh, he does see it and, and gets turned a little bit. So it's smarter to take the shot at the battleship there, but I was hoping I could just remove it. Now the Hayuga pops up, and this is perfect for me. I'm not spotted right now. I'm going to keep sneaking up. And I 101% want to take a good shot at the Hayuga. So I get spotted, but Hayuga is broadside. He has no idea I'm here. None whatsoever. Um, and we are actually going to let him know we're here um, with that hit. And we're going to actually try to... Now he, he's going to start moving forward. Um, got kind of unlucky on that salvo, to be honest. I think we could have done some more damage there, but... Sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. It's just the way of the game. As he's getting ready to go behind the mountain, we're going to take another shot and try our luck again. And uh, you're going to see we do a little bit better this time, I think. Yeah, a lot better. <laughs> and we're going to keep pushing up because we have everybody on this side at risk. Um, now, the Congo has moved back up on the other side, so I, I definitely was aware of that. And you can see me, I'm kind of trying to be angled a little bit to both. Um, and I'm not really getting shot by everybody, so I'm not too worried. You know, I'm not getting a lot of attention right now. Uh, so I'm not too worried. If I start seeing shells come my way, then I need to angle more. But most of these guys have their guns uh, pointed forward. Um, so we're going to actually work in and moving in because... Either these battleships are going to hide from me and I can take the cap or I can get some really good crossfire while also getting away from that battleship, uh, that Congo that's behind us. Um, and we're going to continue to work ourselves up. So again, 80,000 damage, not amazing game, but definitely solid. We're helping our team out. We, we help take out a destroyer. That's big. And you can see, I'm just seeing if, if our battleship's going to win that battle against the Congo. Because if he does, that means I can go 100% full in here. Um, and that's what I'm going to do, is I'm going to go 100% in. You see, no point in trying to steal a kill on the Hayuga. We're going to go ahead and shoot uh, Renown. And we're going to start to turn in here. So once he shoots somebody, a lot of times they'll try to shoot back. So... I wanted to be ready for that. And also, I believe there's a New Mexico out in front of me yet. So I'm trying to be um, careful uh, uh, where I put myself here so I don't get split by these guys. And we're going to go ahead and try to hit Renown again here. Um, and, you know, there's nothing wrong with only using your front guns, but in American Dreadnought, because they turn so nicely as we get our high caliber, 
You can see I do something called the Warship Wiggle, or everybody has something where they wiggle the butt out. We get pretty unlucky there with that salvo. As you can see, the New Mexico is letting me know where he is, and so we are going to definitely try to get him taken out here. We're going to move up on him. Um, I didn't know how much help the New Mexico had. I think it was the New Mexico, but I wasn't too worried about it because we had a heal, and I figured no matter what, we can do um, pretty good against it. So we're going to go ahead and line up. Um, he is taking a shot. I could have waited one more second, but we do bounce his shells. And we're going to go ahead and shoot right at this distance. I'm definitely shooting at the water line. Normally, I wouldn't necessarily do that. I would go um, probably up or side plating, but you can see we absolutely... <laughs> We absolutely get a very good uh, salvo on him. And even though I don't end up capping this base, I put myself in a position to cap the base if we had needed the points because the points were very close there. I didn't know if you guys saw that. That's one of the reasons I was, you know, we defended one cap and flipped it for our team uh, with that other destroyer. Then we helped on the other side and kept control of the entire match. So... Felt really good about that. Anyway, you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time, folks. Have a good one.